And our Health Watch report and app is helping some people keep their voices healthy. Local 3's Connie Fellman has more. You use it for talking, swallowing, breathing. Your voice box is a vital organ that you use to communicate and live. So you want to keep it from getting injured. And guess what? There's an app for that. From operas to recitals and concerts, Teresa Brancaccio has done it all. Now she's training the next generation of performers. My main goal is to get them to sing at the highest level they're capable of. It's just a little bit, I think it's just a little coordination. The problem? When they get really busy, they get also vocally exhausted. The biggest detriment that I usually have to my voice is when I get sick and um, my voice swells up. If that isn't acknowledged and they don't sort of back off and take care of it, it can develop into something that becomes more like a callus. And then that really interferes with how a voice works. That's why Teresa developed the free Singer Savvy app. The app allows the user to enter what they were doing, how long, and how intensely. As they do activities that may put a strain on their voice, they can keep track to see when they should give their voice a rest. You just hide away, no speaking, and um, it gives the vocal folds a chance to regenerate and start to heal. But the app is not designed to stop you from using your voice. Just checking in with yourself to make sure that you're not overdoing it. Teresa says the Singer Savvy app is not just for singers, but for anyone who uses their voice a lot. She says one of the biggest demographics that have a problem with vocal fatigue and injuries are teachers. To learn more about the app, please visit SingerSavvyApp.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.